All right. Welcome back for some more Kirby 64 Crystal Shards. Last time was a big one. We got introduced. We got introduction scenes to Kirby, Ribbon, Waddle Dee, and Adeline. Waddle Dee turned into Waddle Doo by Dark Matter, and Adeline just turned evil. Now we are headed to level three, and you will know what this is. You will actually know. You can slightly see it too. If you don't know what this is, prepare for a big surprise. It is actually my most favorite level in the game. Surprisingly enough, it is. Castle DDD. Looks different, doesn't it? But that's what it is. Castle DDD is what that castle is. Big bomb. Eh. Ah. Uh. Showing you guys what Big Bomb does. It's missiles. It's actually pretty cool. But I still like the Mega... I still like the Mega Fire. Oh, I forgot. It's homing. And it doesn't exactly home into blocks that you want. It just homes in on enemies. It is pretty useful, admittingly. This is Castle DDD. You can tell, can't you? This guy... Th that guy that you saw... Was... The guy that turns you into Needle. Mega Cutter that I didn't show yet, and I don't really think I'm showing you guys it I, there because it's actually pretty useless. Ah! I almost died. So the first crystal, darn it. Actually, I think I missed it. Oh, whatever. I can't get these without... <laughs> the music is actually pretty fun to listen to. Go left. Trust me. Metamato. Trust me when you are playing with me on this game to go left after exiting. You might be surprised. Fine, I'll show you what Mega Cutter does, even though it's not my favorite. Mm. Ah! Eh! Ah! Mega Cutter is not my favorite. Here's why. It's basically Cutter. But, why it's not my favorite is because it is basically like a mega boomerang and it's not really my favorite because I don't like I don't like certain abilities that are distant. I love I love melee abilities. Ah that was close. Like I like the fire sword. That, that's my second most favorite. And then the drill is my most favorite ability that you saw, which was I think still in the lecture. I need an ability! And I don't remember what that ability was, but I remember that I mastered it a lot. It wasn't bomb. It hints every time what ability you need. I did show you bomb. I was like, wait, did I show you bomb? The double bomb already? And I did. It wasn't this ability. I'm using it anyways. It was actually Cutter, I think. Cutter and something. It was a combination, I remember. Fire Sword. Second most favorite ability. Oh, dang it. Well.
No, dang it. Go farther back, then go back again. You'll be there. Mega Cutter. I don't like the ability, but I have no other option. Against bouncing enemies and enemies that dodge easily, that's why I don't like the ability. Against midair abilities, it's sort of useless. If it isn't Mega Cutter, then it's Mega Needle. It's something I'm not very thrilled for. Ah! Mega Needle isn't very much different. The only difference is the size. Just like how Mega Cutter doesn't have much of a difference either. Oh, that's a drawbridge. I was wondering why. I was wondering what that was. I might be wrong on what I need. Let's see. Nope, I was right. I do need better. I do need mega cutter. Adeline, I want to thank you. This is why I love Adeline. Needle, and, oh, there's a crystal shard, dang it. It shows you right then where it is. You have to float above. Easy overall. Just the only complicated thing was the ability for the first crystal. Ne oh, that's Cutter. I was like... Needle? And that was wrong, definitely. Ha! Nailed it! I jumped over! Was there actually something that I needed? Shudder and fire? Oh, a fire monster. Doesn't matter where you exit from. Oh wait, it's not an exit thing. Oh. That enemy you can actually... Darn it. There we go. But you can't. I thought you could. Wait. Oh, you can't. I thought you could. I don't really need any abilities. I want to. I want to battle the boss of this my way. Cutscene. Dark DDD, my favorite boss in the game. Turning off my commentary, turning up the audio volume, and turning up my volume. This is my favorite boss, and you guys might might be like, he's just an easy boss. All you need to do is just kill him swiftly. But you guys don't get the music. It's so amazing. He is basically my second most favorite. King DDD boss in the whole entire game. My most favorite being in the latest Kirby game other than Kirby Fighters 2, Kirby Star Allies.
Yeah, it, it seems regrettable for him to join, but he is actually pretty useful. Azulene is my favorite still, but King Dedede is actually useful because in some, at some point you actually can, because he hop, Kirby hops on King Dedede, you play as King Dedede when you hop, when Kirby hops on the, him. And that's why I like King Dedede. Didn't really need to heal, no, don't really need the one-ups either. Now comes the boss, Wispy. That's his main name, just Wispy. This is the only boss that has buds, basically. And why I say buds is basically because they are basically that. Sort of like his root buddy. But he has two phases. Almost every boss has two phases. Here's his second phase. He actually uses his crystals. Or I meant to say roots. He also does this, the Apple Storm. Useful thing when he does his root things. Do this. It damages him that many times. Darn it. He is actually pretty easy, but I remember dying once against him because I was so surprised with his roots. The very first Kirby game I've ever played was Kirby's Epic Yarn. And Kirby's Return to Dreamland was the very first game that had Wispy Woods in it for me. Didn't know that Wispy Woods was actually ridiculously hard in Kirby 64 as a first boss. Next time on Kirby 64, we're doing Rockstar. A funny name, but you'll get what that means. See ya!